now you have new size and new toughness in a brand new Dodge. But all at the old low price. Better than anything offered by competition. And the biggest bargain yet. Let's prove that by comparing your bold new sparkling styling with Ford and Chevrolet. Compare your big full width grille and new single headlights with the front end look of Ford and Chevrolet. I say we win going away. From the side, it's easy to see that we win big with the look of our new full-length molding. From the rear, again, there's no comparison. They don't even come close to your swept line. But now, let's look inside. Here's the all-new Dodge Deluxe Interior, offered in three color choices. Note the rich appearance of trim and sparkling bright work on the instrument panel and controls. Ford and Chevrolet cab interiors, except for minor changes in color and upholstery patterns, are virtually the same as last year. Dodge seat cushions are stronger and wider than Ford's and Chevrolet's. Dodge seats have a wider range of adjustment, too. Custom seats have full-depth foam rubber cushioning. This is stronger and longer-lasting than the plastic foam pads used in Ford and Chevrolet custom seat cushions. But now let's check your new toughness and compare it with Ford and Chevrolet. Dodge uses a heavy-duty truck-type solid I-beam front axle. In our opinion, this is the most rugged and dependable kind of axle for truck-type service. Chevrolet light-duty trucks use independent front-wheel suspension with a coil spring at each wheel. Ford has a new front suspension system called Twin I-Beam. It is not a solid front axle and uses coil springs. It is limited to half and three-quarter ton trucks only. As yet, this system has not been proved by long usage. In our opinion, the best answer to the question of which front suspension is best is this. All three... Dodge, Ford, and Chevrolet use the Dodge-type solid I-beam front axle in medium and heavy-duty trucks, where maximum strength and dependability are musts. Here's another Dodge advantage, tougher springs. Standard front springs are rated at 1,025 pounds. Optional front spring is rated at 1,250 pounds. Ford standard front coil spring is rated at 1,005 pounds, with one option at 1,125 and one at 1,250 pounds. Chevrolet has only one front spring, the standard 1,018-pound capacity coil spring. There are no options. At the rear, Dodge is the toughest with a 3,600-pound capacity rear axle. Ford offers a 3,300-pound capacity, and Chevrolet's is rated at 3,500 pounds. More proof that Dodge builds tough trucks. Dodge D100 pickup standard rear springs are rated at 1,100 pounds. Ford rear springs are rated at only 950 pounds, Chevrolet at 1074. And there's still more proof that Dodge builds tough trucks. For example, full double wall box construction from top to bottom. This makes the Dodge box stronger and gives it a far better appearance. Ford and Chevrolet pick up body sides or double wall only part of the way. They are not as strong and can be more easily damaged by cargo in the upper unprotected part of the side wall. Ford and Chevrolet both have horizontal coach joints all along the inner wall of the cargo box, where water and road salt can collect and create rust problems. Dodge avoids this because the outer skin is one piece. Dodge does a better job of rust-proofing the inside surfaces of the double wall body. This is vital, since on all three makes, this area is exposed to moisture and mud. Dodge coats the upper 12 inches of both walls with zinc-rich primer to inhibit rust formation. Ford also uses rust-proofing in this area, but Chevrolet does not. Maybe that's why you see so many rusted Chevy pickup bodies. The front corners of the Dodge cargo box are box section reinforced from top to bottom for extra strength. Ford and Chevrolet corner reinforcing is less rugged. A brand new feature of the Dodge swept line pickup cargo box is a one-hand operated tailgate latch. It closes like a door with a positive latch that keeps the tailgate safely closed until you release the latch. With the tailgate open, two sturdy metal straps support it. Ford also has a one-hand tailgate latch, but it is less rugged than Dodge, with thinner steel rods inside the tailgate. Chevrolet still has a double-chain tailgate fastening, even on its number one pickup, the fleet side. Comparing cab construction, we find several Dodge advantages. For example, the halo reinforcing all around the top of the Dodge cab. Dodge uses thicker sheet metal throughout the cab than Ford or Chevrolet. Note the lack of reinforcing at this point in Ford's cab. Chevrolet's structure here is similar to Dodge. In the windshield opening, Dodge uses a one-piece structure for greater strength and better dimensional stability. 
Here is Ford's structure, which has two welds on each side. Chevrolet's body structure is similar to Ford's at this point. Now let's check on what you have going for you in your new size story. A Dodge D100 with the new 128-inch wheelbase and 8-foot swept line body can carry 1,555 pounds of payload. Maximum payload allowance for Ford's F100 style side with a 129-inch wheelbase comparably equipped is 1,425 pounds, 130 pounds less than Dodge. Maximum payload allowance for Chevrolet's C10 127-inch wheelbase fleet side is 1,450 pounds, 105 pounds less than a comparably equipped Dodge D100. Dodge wins hands down. In addition, the Uteline 7.5-foot box has been increased to 8 feet. This added length, plus all of the superior cab and chassis features just covered, set the new Uteline a big step above comparable Ford and Chevrolet models. Now, let's check some additional plus values you have in Dodge. Dodge and Chevrolet have a removable air intake for easy service of wiper pivots. Ford's air intake is not removable. You must reach up under the cowl, a very awkward maneuver. Only Dodge has a removable cover in the floor pan to expose the transmission. Now, this saves time and labor when transmission service is necessary. More dollars saved for the Dodge owner. Dodge D100 brakes have more reserve stopping power with 197 square inches of brake lining area. Ford has 169, and Chevrolet 167 square inches. All three pickups are comparably powered. Standard engines are the 140 horsepower 6 for Dodge. Ford has a new 150 horsepower 6. Chevrolet's standard engine is a 140 horsepower 6. All offer V8 engine options. Dodge offers a 318 V8 with 200 horsepower. Ford has a 352 cubic inch V8 with 208 horsepower, and Chevrolet has a 283 cubic inch V8 with 175 horses. Dodge offers many other extra quality and value features not available with Ford or Chevrolet. For example, Dodge uses forged engine crankshafts in all engines for extra ruggedness and greater dependability. Ford uses cast crankshafts on all its models. Chevrolet uses them on its sixes. Cast metal is brittle and more prone to metal fatigue. Dodge is priced within a few dollars of Ford and Chevrolet when comparably equipped. The difference is peanuts and eliminates price as a factor. It boils down to just what do you get for your money. In Dodge, you have the best bargain and the best value going. Bold new styling inside and out that sets Dodge ahead of the pack. All new toughness with more rugged components, thicker metal and better construction in the cab, and bigger and better built seats. New size with better load carrying ability, a better cargo box, and more protection from corrosion. And important plus values that Ford and Chevrolet don't have. For example, only Dodge offers the protection of a five year or 50,000 mile warranty on the powertrain. You have more going for you in the low tonnage pickup market than ever before. It can really pay you to make certain that all pickup users in your market get the facts about Dodge.